Hey everybody, so the first thing you'll notice is that I have um some well I got some equipment going on. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's obviously an audio recorder and you might be wondering, well, what are you gonna do with it? Okay, so I'm gonna be making a CD today, and obviously it's gonna take a long time, so basically I'm just going to record the beginning of the steps, and then yeah, so it's just basically gonna be what's gonna happen as I create the CD. Um, yeah, so my recorder here happens to be off right now, but I did already create the track and, you know, deal with the, the mics. Actually, I didn't assign the mics yet, but, um, but I made sure basically that it was, uh, that this microphone was close was close to this F hole and this was close to that. So I did I did deal with all the acoustics. So yeah. Um as of now I am debating whether to use this audio not only for the C D but also as I might you I might have the video and the audio separate but uh, I'm not sure. I might though. You, you guys, um, I think I said in another video, I think I said that um, I probably, I'm probably not going to do that ever <laughs> because, um, I mean, if they're not lined up to, uh, to the hundredth of a second almost, then it's gonna look really weird like like you know da 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 so yeah that would look weird especially if i'm playing something really fast so it, i mean it would just kind of look weird no matter what so unless i am like unless i'm suddenly like a really good video editor like i mean it's, I, I, I have a really basic video editor, and it's possible that my video editor has that feature to um, have it separate, or I should say it has a few features that together would allow me to do it. I should say that, because basically I can add, I, I have the ability to add music onto it, and I can also mute the video, so if I did those two things, and I had the music just right, then I would be able to do it. But I don't know. I might do it. I might not. I'm probably just gonna try it and then go f and then go from there. But yeah. So let's get straight into this. Without further ado, let's do this. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is practice, practice, practice. You guys know that musical joke. Um. So yeah, let's just start with the practicing. Now, of course, I'm not going to record the practicing on my audio um, recorder. Now, before I get into this video, before I say the rest, um, I would like to say that I am going to do this in multiple parts because otherwise this will be a really long video. Even though I'm not recording every single thing of what happens, I'm still probably going to do it in multiple parts. I'm still not positive, but probably. I'm just going to say no more than 20 minutes per part so if it's more than 20 minutes then like if the first part is more than 20 minutes then i'm gonna have to split it up so anyways yeah without further ado let's get into this so as i was saying the first part or the first step is practice 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 I already said that you guys know that joke, so, yeah. I'm just going to record a few minutes of my practice right now, so, yeah. 
And like I said, I'm not going to record it on my audio recorder, even though I might do the audio separate. I'm still not going to record it for the sake of memory. Um, so yeah, the only part that I might do the audio separate is um, the actual recording the CD part. And so yeah, I'm just going to record a few minutes of my practice, and then we're on to the next step after that. making a CD because you're going to run into a lot of problems and you're going to make a lot of mistakes both playing wise and you know other stuff so I've just encountered a problem unless I want to cheat which I don't want to cheat <laughs> and I um, basically like I record one section at a time which I don't want to do because, like I said, that's kind of cheating. And also, like, I'm probably going to be, like, the first one to do that. And, yeah. And since it's going up on YouTube, probably no one's going to want my CD. Um, I'm going to have to learn to the end before I can actually do it on that piece. So, I'm going to have to choose a piece that I already learned. Now, I'm going to go with the classic, or I mean, it is, the music that I'm going to play, of course, is classical, but I'm just going to go with the, um, a good first track, and I'm going to practice the first box suite. Now, I'm going to stop recording for my practicing part, because I think this is enough demonstration of practicing because basically this is just going to turn into like another 40 And I'm sure you guys guessed the next step, record it. So, I actually didn't practice it that much because it's quite easy 
And I'm falling off of the music just to be safe because I don't want to do this in a million takes. Um, I'm hoping that uh, five or so takes will be enough. Hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And I know a lot of people have other people doing this stuff for them. And, okay, they pay them and... It would probably be really hard for me to do it at my age. I don't even know if I'm allowed to. And I know I could have my parents help me, but, I mean, this is a starter CD, so I'm not really, um, you know, like, I'm not using that much equipment. Because, yeah, this is a starter CD, and yeah, I just happened to be doing it by myself because I want to see if that's possible, I guess. Um, my parents made a CD together and they did have other people working for them, but I want to see if I can do it alone. So yeah, let's try this. So um, I just turned on my audio recorder while I was talking and I'm going to go ahead and assign the mics now. So let's see, track one. Input A, perfect. Uh, oh wait, oh my god. Okay, so input A, and how, wait, how do we go down? Oh, <laughs> input A, and then track two, input B. We don't have to worry about track three and four, because those are for, you know, like a guitar or a synthesizer or something like that. So, um, yeah, I think we need to get started. It's official. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button on both tracks, and it does not start officially recording until I hit that play button and a, another record button. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. to assign the, I did forget to, um, you know, set whether the mics is on low or high. Usually I have it on medium, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and it's in stereo mode. Oh, uh, yeah, now I'm good to go. <laughs> recording and I was seeing if um, it's too loud and although usually I have it on mid usually I don't have it right by my cello so yeah I'm gonna turn it back to low and rewind it and now I should be good to go it's back on low and yeah I'm gonna do one more test recording I'll just do, I don't know, I guess the first 20 or so measures. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I did have a few mistakes there, but I'm going to go ahead and listen to it. Now, unfortunately, I lost um, the, uh, the chords, and why did I just put my cello down? If I'm talking, whether I'm talking or playing, of course when I'm playing also, but <laughs> especially when I'm playing, I have to have my cello up if I'm recording a video for this channel. So. I'm going to look over it, and unfortunately, I lost the cords that connect from a headphone jack to my speakers. Unfortunately, I lost those cords, so I'm just going to have to use headphones. Um, yeah. So, if I hadn't lost the cord, you guys could have heard it too, but you just heard it, and, I mean, if you want to hear it, if you want to hear what I got from the audio, yeah, assuming that the CD is that this recording is part of the CD, and my CD is published, then yeah, you're going to have to get my CD. So I have decided that that is official, and it's it. That's it. So, the next step is, of course, to, um, I don't know if it's called, like, rendering or something, but whatever it is, export it. Some people call it export it, and then I think there's another name for it. Whatever. So I just go to menu, I go to import and export, and then basically I just export it. Ah, dang it, what was the name? Okay, first I have to find the name. Okay, so CD1TR1. For CD1 track 1. for Meaning like starter CD and the first track of my starter CD. So, um, yeah, import, export, export track, name, and then, yeah, let's do this. So I'm just going to export it. So, um, C, D, I hate typing on these things that don't have touch screens. CD one T R hold on. Where is the T? T R one. C D one T R one. And next Okay, so, wow, it's only 14 megabytes. I guess it's just the audio. So, yeah, let's do this. Okay, it's ready. I was about to say I'll see you in my next scene. Well, I did say that, but I cut that out because this is actually the end of this part. I'm going to have one part for each track that I do. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in part two. 